But while the attacks on the Mi'kmaq lobster fishers do continue to divide the community, politicians are pushing for action. One of those politicians is NDP leader Jagmeet Singh. He's uh, one of the many who supported the emergency debate that is set for tonight. But what's it actually going to accomplish? Let's find out. Uh, Mr. Singh joins us right now from Brampton. Always good to see you, sir. Um, you called this domestic terrorism. Um, why do you define it as such? Does it meet the criminal code section 83.01? Does it actually meet that, that, that level of definition? Well, we saw the images. We saw indigenous Mi'kmaq community members facing intimidation, violence. We saw threats to burn down the facilities and then the facility was burnt down. We saw physical assaults towards many members of the Mi'kmaq community. It was all an attempt to intimidate and to terrorize an indigenous community that has won a Supreme Court case solidifying their constitutional right to earn a living off the land. And, and what's going on is a, is a campaign of, of effectively instilling fear into the people. And that's wrong. And that's why we've called on the prime minister to act immediately. The emergency debate, the whole purpose is to push the federal government to do something, to push Prime Minister Trudeau to do something. So to me, it's it's a bit mind-boggling that the Prime Minister or the Liberal government's calling for the debate. Well, they have the power to do something about it. This is a 21-year-old conflict that both conservative and liberal governments have failed to act on. So, so, so if you believe it's terrorism and you believe then they have the uh, obligation to act, in your view, what exactly should the federal government be doing? What have they failed to do? Well, the Supreme Court decision was made uh, back in 1999. It's been 21 years. Both conservative governments and liberal governments have failed to solidify what does it mean for the indigenous communities to be able to live off the land. That is a question that's two decades old. It's not something new. And the prime minister, Prime Minister Trudeau, has been in government, has had a majority for four years, has done nothing to solve this. So we need immediate action to solve the problem moving forward to solidify what the Supreme Court has decided the Mi'kmaq community has a right to earn a living. The federal government has to define and be able to work with the indigenous communities to, to establish that and protect the Mi'kmaq, make sure that they don't face these, this violence right. and make sure they don't face do you, this threat. Do you, Mr. Singh, do you believe the RCMP has failed in their duties to respond and they should have intervened earlier? We saw the videos. We saw the images. It, it looked really clear that you know, there was violence being perpetrated against Mi'kmaq people, and the RCMP didn't respond and, and didn't stop it. There was a threat. And there were clear threats being made. We're going to torch your facility. We're going to burn it down. And then what happens, it gets burnt. I mean, that to me is, is a pretty massive failure. If you've got a clear threat, and then that threat is acted on days later, why wasn't there any presence there to protect the, the community, protect the facility, protect the people? This, this, I can't imagine if it was the other way around, if someone had threatened to burn someone's home down, threatened to burn their business down, there wasn't police there to protect it or to prevent it. I can't imagine that happening if it wasn't, uh, if it was a non-Indigenous person. Uh, and that's a fair point, sir. But I I'm trying to understand when, when government officials asked the RCMP to respond. Because during the pipeline protests for the Wet'suwet'en, when rail tracks were being blocked, people said they should not intervene. So I'm just trying to, just, you're a lawyer as well. When should the RCMP intervene? What's your view on that? When railway tracks were being blocked, you said don't. When the lobster fishing is being blocked, uh, you're saying they got it, they're failing, they're derelict in their duty. I'm, I'm, I'm a serious question. When should they intervene and when, sh when should they not? Well, well, in this case, it's very clear. You've got indigenous communities, the Mi'kmaq people. They've got a Supreme Court decision. These are the first people of the land. They've got a Supreme Court decision that says they have a right to live off the land. And there's a threat to burn their facility. And then it gets burnt. Clearly, there's a failure in, in protecting this community. I mean, that's just obvious. No, no doubt. I, I, I agree with your analysis there. But, obvious, but this is a but, very obvious case. Like, this is, this no, is no, a Supreme I, I, Court decision. I appreciate that. But when, they got it right. They were threatened. They're being pushed around, physically assaulted, and their facility gets burnt. Clearly here is, is a case, an example of where, you know, there's been an, an abject failure to protect the Mi'kmaq people. Just I, Listen, I, I think your analysis is accurate, uh, and, and I think it's been reiterated by a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to figure out, there are always different circumstances, so these are not perfect analogies, 
But the railway companies, many of them were asking for the RCMP to intervene in that scenario where there was uh, a series of uh, encounter some of them dangerous there. When when do the RC when should government officials like you urge the RCMP to intervene? Right now, with the Mi'kmaq people, there, there's no question. Right now, this is a clear case that is crying out for intervention, protection, right. help the Mi'kmaq people stop the violence, settle what the Supreme Court has asked for 21 years ago, over two decades ago, that they have a right to to live off the land, move forward with that decision, that ruling and establish what that is. That, that's the responsibility squarely right. of the federal government. Prime Minister Trudeau and previous uh, conservative prime ministers have failed to do that. Yeah, and I want to emphasize, these are very different circumstances. I'm just trying to clarify how this works. Premier McNeil, real quick, is calling for a three-person panel to be struck to help find a path forward. Uh, Chief Sack just told me, sorry, I'm not doing it. The commercial fishers can't be involved in this. Do you support McNeil's call? Well, I think that this has to be dealt with. I think what the chief was asking for is like, listen, this can't be a long drawn on process. It's already been 21 years. Like there's no reason to draw this out even further. This should be uh, the indigenous community. This should be science-based conservation, of course. And the indigenous communities care deeply about conservation. So that's not even a problem. Uh, it should be dealt with quickly and, and based on the evidence right. and based on the right of the people. Uh, Mr. Singh, I really appreciate uh, you joining us. I know there's a big debate tonight, an emergency debate. Thanks for your time as ever, sir. Thanks. Thank you, sir.